We start straight out the gates with the parsley garnish. This is the exact order everything was done in, and that means get your garnish done ahead of time. Oh, looks like he's got his no crying in the kitchen Trump cutting board out, which obviously means he ain't fucking around here. As we continue on with a block of Parmigiano or Reggiano, the expensive shit. Not necessary, I'd say, but it sure does the trick. As you painstakingly grate up enough cheese to make your sauce, you will come to realize that the cheaper stuff is just fine as long as there is no cellulose in it. So just check the labels when you buy it. A pan, get some cream in it. If you want a lighter sauce, then use half and half instead. As the cream heats up, it's time to mix in a bit of our secret weapon better than bouillon chicken base. No, it's not going to taste like chicken unless you overdo it. It gives the sauce huge depth of flavor. This just in from the 999 guy. Quote, my secret weapon is non-negotiable in this and will beat the hell out of your Alfredo sauce every day of the week. So if you knock it without trying it, you can fuck right off. Not sure what's with the attitude, but let's keep going on as we add a bit of some white pepper into the sauce, followed by a slight bit of nutmeg. Fresh grated, of course. Again, don't overdo it with the spices or you will be sorry. When the cream is very hot but not bubbling, start adding your grated Parmesan cheese in, a small handful at a time, and mix it in to smooth it out. Don't add too much at one time. You have to be careful not to let the sauce burn, so keep stirring it with a spatula or whisk as you do this. Over time, it will start to thicken up just the way you want. Always make sure to keep an eye on the heat and turn it down if you have to so that it doesn't burn. Taste as you go along. When the sauce is just about ready, time to cook your pasta. These are some higher quality semolina fettuccine nests. I asked him beforehand why he didn't make his own pasta for this, and he told me that he doesn't have all fucking day and to mind my own business. What a dick. The pasta goes into slightly boiling salted water, and a timer gets set, in this case for six minutes. Gently stir it occasionally, but don't fuck with the noodles too much or you can ruin its nice texture. Six minutes later and the pasta gets strained and never rinse off the starch. Taking a quick second to admire the luscious consistency of your sauce, the pasta goes in. Be nice and gentle while combining. Last thing you want to do is mush it all up at this point. Plate it up nicely. Large portions are always recommended here so that you need a nap afterwards. Hit it with a bit more of that good stuff. Why not? And on goes the parsley to finish it off. How nice does that look? I guarantee this is the best Alfredo sauce you've ever had, so give it a try. I also recommend checking out some of my other cooking videos for lots of great recipes and ideas. Make sure you are subscribed with the notifications on so that you never miss a thing. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.